and welcome to the Roland Studio and welcome to the hashtag Artsy Second Sunday Hop uh, hosted by Martha with Ayala Arts and thank you to Martha and Mona for all the work that they put into keeping the hop on schedule and getting it scheduled and all the ladies that are involved in the hop we try to bring you interesting and fun content uh, every second Sunday of the month so I hope that you are enjoying our hops. Um, I want to introduce you to my new little character that I've created. Uh, as you saw in the title, his name is Cuckoo. And my mother and I were talking about what I could name this little crab that's been in my head. And I'll explain that in a minute. And based off the little adventures that we started putting Cuckoo, excuse me, Cuckoo through... Uh, my mom's like, you know, he's so cuckoo. It just, you know what? That's a cute name, <laughs> cuckoo. So she came up with cuckoo because cuckoo is so cuckoo that he does things that gets him in trouble. And that's kind of the concept, you know, we started going with his all these little adventures cuckoo could get into. And uh, he's a nosy little crab that gets himself in predicaments that he can't get out of. Which brings us to our winter scene theme for the month of uh, November, which is a month behind. So this is technically a December uh, painting, but uh, one of the themes was winter scene, uh, Christmas, uh, there was several others, but um, Thanksgiving I think was still in there, but there was several and winter, uh, the winter theme is where I went with this. Now, let me give you a little background. I had this dream. I don't know why, but I had this dream of a big, giant, blue crab that was elusive to me and almost seemed to know that I wanted to catch him and, and grab him. <laughs> I, I have the strangest dreams I always have, but cuckoo became a reality here in the painting so this is the blue crab that was in my head and I'm a June baby you know they had the signs of the crab and the beach and the water and all that so uh that's I guess where cuckoo has come into play but cuckoo uh has gotten himself in trouble and cuckoo was at the beach of course where he lived at his home and he trailed away from his family and got up on shore and saw this little boy playing with his sand and his pail bucket and was building his sand castle and little old cuckoo just couldn't resist getting a closer look and being nosy that he crawled up into that pail and was peeking out well little did he know that the family was ready to pack up the bags and get back to their home which was in the mountains far distance from where cuckoo lived and cuckoo got stuck in the pail and the little boy never saw him and he took a trip out to the mountains so now cuckoo has trying to figure out where he's at and trying to get back to home and he finds his way out of the out of the house and you can see his little feet come from the house in the distance and he comes up to the pond and everything's cold everything's winterized everything's frozen so cuckoo realizes that one he can't get back home and two the water is frozen he can't even get into it so this is my nighttime winter scene i don't know why it seemed right to put the winter scene at night it just i guess it made it colder <laughs> i don't know so uh, this is going to be a night scene where Cuckoo has gotten out of the house. He's trying to find his way home and found some water and it was frozen. And in the meantime, you got, which I do not have a name for, uh, you guys can kind of maybe help me come up with a name for the rabbit. <laughs> there will be a rabbit and the rabbit comes out of his hole and he decides to do kind of a cuckoo move and and be entertained by watching cuckoo uh, but instead of getting all up in the business <laughs> the rabbit decides to just pull out a rocket chair and 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 
and sit for a while and he has a little cup of coffee coffee or soup i haven't decided which one it is and he's waiting for cuckoo to figure it out and he's just like what is cuckoo doing he doesn't know it's cuckoo or what his name is but he's like what is this crap doing you don't belong here and <laughs> so he's got him a warm cup of coffee or cocoa or soup and he's just patiently waiting for cuckoo to figure out why he's kind of chuckling at himself and giving him the what are you doing look yeah uh, so he sit back with his pipe and just watching cuckoo go crazy go cuckoo <laughs> so this is where i went with it um i know it's silly but i thought it might be fun a fun way <clears throat> to do a winter scene i'm i'm a surrealistic artist i like to do things surrealistically so um this is just one of the ways that kind of came to my mind um I've, I've always loved surrealism but I've always not been uh, one to put it together too well but I'm trying to to get there and I think that this was a great start uh, uh, well I've started before but a great you know addition to my efforts in surrealism uh, which means you know real things with unreal things going on <laughs> or maybe two characters to one so I'm gonna let you listen and enjoy the rest of the painting and if you have a name to come up for my rabbit post your comments below i would really appreciate some thoughts uh some help on this and um, maybe i'll come back with a video and tell you guys if any of the names that you come up with for the rabbit was something that i chose or if I come up with something myself. And also, I'd like to know if you'd like to see another Cuckoo Adventure uh, come across either in the hop or on my channel. Uh, it might be a fun thing to do, and I would appreciate some feedback and some insight on that. And uh, we'll go from there. So enjoy the hop. Make sure that you go to the next artist in the uh, description box below. And uh, if you're in the live chat, I will post the link towards the end of this video. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye!